Hi everyone, I'm Brennan Lafferty, publisher of Rubber and Plastics News. Rubber and Plastics News is your organizer of ITEC, the International Tire Exhibition and Conference. Welcome to ITEC's Ask the Expert, our live stream series featuring the latest technology for the tire and rubber industry. With Ask the Expert, this is your chance to learn from professionals who are addressing the current business environment and discussing its latest developments. ITEC has a number of Ask the Expert sessions scheduled each day at noon Eastern. The entire library of Ask the Expert sessions are available on the virtual event site, itechvirtual.crane.com. Today, Ask the Expert will explore new generation hydro hydraulic presses. And our expert today is Ganesh Raja Karapusami, Manager Engineering at l and Rubber Processing Machinery. Ganesh will answer your questions after his presentation. If you do have questions for Ganesh, send them at any time to rpnevents at crane.com. And if you're watching this live stream on Facebook, LinkedIn Live, or YouTube, send your questions through those platforms. With that, I'll turn things over to Ganesh Raja Karapusami at l and Rubber Processing Machinery. Take it away, Ganesh. Thank you, Brennan. Uh, I'm very much delighted to be part of this event, and I sincerely thank uh, iTech team and Rubber and Plas Plastic News for this uh, wonderful opportunity. A very good morning. It's a pleasure to welcome you all for this virtual event. Today, I'll be making a presentation on l and new generation of hydraulic tire curing presses. Uh, before I get into the presentation, let me introduce myself. I'm Ganesh Raja, having 15 plus years of experience in the design and development of hydraulic tire curing presses. I love developing new concepts, uh, which provide solution to the critical challenges uh, faced by the tire industry. My interests include value engineering and fatigue analysis. In the next slide, I'll be introducing my company, Larson & Tubro Limited, it's an Indian multinational engaged in engineering, procurement, and construction, manufacturing, defense equipment, shipbuilding, information technology, and many other. Uh, with a US dollar, 21 billion in revenue, and with an employee base of over 50,000. It operates in over 30 countries globally. LNT has always been in the forefront of innovation. Uh, which has enabled the company to execute iconic and most beautiful projects, not only in India, but also globally. Uh, some of it include, which you can see uh, to the right image, uh, Statue of Unity, an engineering marvel, and is the tallest statue in the world at 182 meters. LNT has also built the world's largest cricket stadium, uh, which can seat over one lakh spectators at, a, at the same time. LNT has also manufactured the cryostat for the world's largest nuclear fusion reactor project in France. In the next slide, let me introduce LNT Rubber Processing Machinery, which is a part of Machinery and Industrial project, Products Division of LNT. It has over four decades of experience in producing world class machinery. It has a wide customer base spanning more than 40 countries. Uh, it, it offers a wide range of rubber processing machinery, which includes mechanical and hydraulic tire curing presses, bladder curing presses, tire building machines, spares and remanufactured equipment, and automation solution for handling uh, tire and raw material uh, for tire companies globally. In the next slide, I present to you LNT's whole range of hydraulic presses, uh, which in its own way uh, is an answer to the various challenges faced by the tire industry starting from presses for two-wheelers, passenger car, and truck and bus radial segment. In particular, if I have to talk about uh, our two-wheeler presses, which are designed to handle very small tires as low as 50 mm in, in tire width, so which is much more challenging uh, than handling a bigger passenger car or, or truck, truck bus tire, uh, tires. Uh, in the next slide, uh, let us look at an inter interesting problem. A tire curing press more often gets installed in a pit of at least one to two meters in depth. Digging, in a, digging a pit uh, comes with a significant 
excavation and civil work cost. So let's look at, let's, let's look at why a pit is very important. If you look to the image on the right side of your screen, uh, a tire curing, a cross section of tire curing press uh, with, with, with bladder control mechanism uh, forming its core central part is shown. If you, if you look at the bladder control mechanism, uh, you can understand that all the hydraulic actuators are placed away from the heat zone. These hydraulic actuators are used for uh, controlling the bladder stretch height and also to strip the tire out from the mold once the curing is over. This increases, this arrangement increases the overall height of the bladder control mechanism. And it is also important that the bottom heating plate and height has to be uh, maintained at a uh, accessible height for the operator uh, for him to access uh, the core part of the machine for bladder change, uh, mold change, and other other day-to-day -day activities in the in the, tie, in, the, in, the tie, in the field of tire curing. And, and if you can see, the, the tire mold for vulcanizing the tire is subjected to uh, 200 degrees centigrade. So that is the reason why these hydraulic actuators are kept away from the hot zone. One of the other reasons why a pit is required is uh, for accessing uh, cure media hoses, uh, which are at the uh, which are at the bottom of the machine. So in the next slide. Uh, we can look at one of the uh, market uh, so offer solution currently offers. If you look to the image, a standard press is kept on the floor, uh, but the deck height of the keating plate and uh, where the operator has to access uh, frequently has, has, has gone up to 1.8 meters uh, from the floor. The height of 1.8 meters from the floor will be inaccessible for the operator. So the operator has to so you can see a platform is installed in front of the press. So the operator has to climb at least two to three steps to access the core part of the machine. As you can imagine, this will not be an ergonomic solution for the operator. It will only add on to his fatigue. And also, it will be less convenient for the forklift access for placing the tire curing mold inside the press. So this solution has a lot of shortcomings. So LNT has come up with an innovative solution uh, to overcome this challenge. Let's, let's look at it in the next slide. So how can we do it? The only two way, way to make it convenient for the operator is to reduce the deck height and, and also to place the press on the floor. To achieve this objective, uh, we need to maintain the deck height or bottom he heating plate and height uh, less than 1.2 meters from the floor. Again, uh, this is not easy. Considering the height of the bladder control mechanism itself is close to 1.8 meters. So LNT has come up with an innovative design where the height of the BCM is brought down to less than 1.2 meters. You can look at the image on the bottom left corner of your, of your screen. Uh, you can see a comparison between a conventional and the new compact BCM. One of the key challenges in the, the new design is to take care of high temperatures. The hydraulic actuators and all the sealing system are developed to withstand more than 200, 200 degrees Celsius because in the, in the new compact BCM, all the hydraulic actuators are moved close to the heat zone where the tire curing mold is placed. And apart from this, one of the next big challenge we wanted to address is the cure media hoses in the back control mechanism. This is one of the biggest pain areas in the tire industry. These carry hot fluids when ruptured, the leak from the hoses is continuously getting uh, sprayed on the nearby components in its vicinity, making it to corrode, and the whole area looks really messy. It is, it is also a highly unsafe situation for the operator. It is really painful uh, to see the operator to work his way beneath the machine for maintaining these hoses. So we have come up with a unique solution of telescopic pipes for the supply of cure media to the BCM. Uh, the hoses are completely eliminated and the sealing solution uh, used in this telescopic pipe can withstand temperatures of up to 220 degrees Celsius and also it can give a life of five years, which makes it absolutely safe and, and reduces the total cost of ownership and, and, and improves the machine uptime to a great extent. This design of BCM has undergone a rigorous validation process and has been supplied to many customers in India and Europe. Uh, we can call it a truly flow motor press. This solution has not only addressed the ergonomic issues, but also helped to reduce the carbon emissions by elimination of pit. 
and also with LNT's flow mounted press, customer, customers can save civil work and excavation costs, which are very significant if we consider many trenches full of presses in a tire plant. In the next slide, uh, we can look at some of the more advantages of LNT's floor mounted press. In a conventional BCM, any maintenance activity has to be done in the pit because the available daylight does not allow us to remove the complete BCM from the press. The operator has to do maintenance by sitting beneath the pit. This is also unsafe for the operators considering that the hot media lines beneath the BCM. Whereas in the new compact BCM, it allows the operator to remove it completely by using a special fixture, which allow, allows it to be handled by forklift arms. The entire BCM can be removed and maintained. Maintenance can be done offline, and the BCM can install. We can BCM can be put it put it back, put back into the machine. Uh, we can even maintain a spare BCM wherein the old BCM can be replaced with the uh, new BCM, and and this reduces the downtime of the machine to a great extent. You can look at the uh, layout of pit machine and pitless version in, in, in the images below. Helen Tree's true flow mounted press has solved a major uh, challenge and has offered great benefits for the tire industry. Now, let's look at some of the other challenges industry is facing and a solution for the same in the next slide. The other challenge the tire industry is facing is finding space to add presses in, uh, to increase the capacity. Industry looks to add more presses in the available space uh, without needing to go for a new trench to increase the capacity. Uh, this calls for compact footprint machines. LNT has come up with a new development uh, by working out an optimum layout, which reduces the overall footprint close to 13%, as you can see in this slide, by which we can, will be able to install a 52-inch tie curing press in the space meant for 45-inch tie curing press. This layout coupled with flow mounted version offers great savings in civil work costs for the tire industry. Having said that, the new layout has its own challenges to overcome, which can be best illustrated in the next slide. In a standard press, a forklift can conveniently load the mold uh, without having any hindrance to the nearby press. But in the new layout, there was a possibility of forklift hindering the nearby press. If that were to happen, uh, we had to stop two presses for more loading. And this will not be acceptable for the tire industry. Another, another major challenge was uh, during green tire loading by chuck loaders. There is a possibility of both left and right loaders hitting each other because of the new angle of the press. So the loading has to happen one after the other. This will also will not be acceptable for the tire industry because this will affect the overall cycle time of the machine. So we had considered all these challenges during the design phase and ensured that both of these challenges are overcome with an optimum footprint. As you can see in the images below, at the bottom left, mold, the mold loading by means of a forklift without any issues for the nearby machine. And in a trench meant for 10 machines, uh, we'll be able to add uh, one more machine by using LNT compact series presses. Our compact series presses are not just limited to passenger car presses. Uh, we have also extended it to truck and bus radial presses, uh, which we can see in the next slide. LNT TBR presses are designed to fit in a compact layout uh, with spaces space less than uh, four and a half meters. And the height of the machine are one of the lowest in the industry, almost equal to a passenger car press. This will enable us to replace old mechanical presses without needing to increase the flow space. If you notice, TBR presses consume a lot of energy in producing tires. LNT's TBR presses are designed to be a lot energy efficient. The insulation are designed with very low thermal conductivity materials, which also resist radiation losses to retain the heat inside the mold for improved energy efficiency. These presses are also designed to handle very large tires, which needs higher stripping forces are required to unload the tire. So we have a special solution for that. Uh, our fork type unloaders are designed to handle forces as high as one tons. The arms are provided with high tough, toughness belts, which can withstand higher stripping forces. At the same time, 
it does not affect the surface of the tire. This machine also comes with one of the very low setup time with linear transducers installed in almost all of the cylinders. So there is no setup involved for segment mold or, or lower ring where the operator has to set the proximities when there is any more change. Next slide, please. One of the other challenges faced by the industry is uh, in a passenger car press, that too with once with post cure inflator, there is very little space behind the uh, between the press and the PCI for the operator to access for any maintenance activity. There is hardly much of a space. Uh, this is because if you look at the current market offering, uh, they all have three portion unloaders, which once which 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 picks the tire once the curing is over and places the tire directly inside the post cure inflator for inflation. So that, that is the reason why the post cure inflator is very close behind the press. So to overcome this challenge, LNT has come up with a new innovative post cure inflator, wherein the unloader uses only two portion arms, and there is one more arm provided in the post cure inflator. We call it as a linear arm, which can come out to receive the tire from the uh, unloader. And once the tire cured tire is received, the arm along with the tire goes inside the post cure inflator cavity and the inflation begins. Once the post cure infl inflation is over, the same arm along with the tire comes out so that the unloader can pick the tire from the post cure inflator and can unload it to the cooling conveyors for taking it to the trench conveyor. So you can see to the image on the right, we can see that there is a very good space created between press and post cure inflator. And this is very convenient for the operator to do any maintenance activity behind the press, particularly for rim change activities, etc. Next slide, please. We in LNT have strived to address every challenge faced by tire manufacturers. A tire curing press may require additional platforms and ladders to access PCA stations for rim change and also behind the press for mold change bladder change and other day-to-day -day activities. This has always been added by tire manufacturers at a later date once the press is involved, installed. But they have always been a compromise solution because once the press is installed, it is always designed within the available space around the machine. So this has not always come out with an ergonomic solution. So we in LNT offer a complete integrated solution wherein we design, manufacture, supply, and supply platforms and ladders custom made for a particular layout. Thereby, we, we can save a lot of installation time. And as you can see in, in as many images, uh, the LNT press with complete platforms and ladders. And one more thing is that uh, we ensure notched safety gratings are used uh, in all the platforms for better grip and to prevent operator getting slipped. Next slide, please. Our integrated solution is not just limited to passenger car segment. Uh, we also offer platforms and gratings for truck and bus radial presses. In fact, we ensure in the design stage itself, sufficient space is available behind the press for, for, con for the so that the operators can conveniently uh, do the maintenance activities for any removal of cure valves uh, or any cure media pipelines for maintenance activity. We have, we have also ensured all the platforms and ladders are designed according to ISO 14122 series standard. Next slide, please. The vacuuming press has many hazards during the operation of the machine. Uh, the hazards are created uh, during the opening and closing of the machine and also the tire curing press comes with many hot parts like heating platens, hot cure, cure media valves, and uh, cure media hoses, etc. And there is a possibility of these uh, pressure hoses getting ruptured. So this creates safety hazard for the operator. LNT ensures every possible hazard is addressed by safe solutions. Some of it include safety fence to prevent any unauthorized entry, safety bumpers and area scanners, to stop movements in, in, in case of human entry into the red and yellow zones. And also, as you can imagine, in a hydraulic tire curing press, there are at least 22 hydraulic actuators. And most of these actuators are provided with counterbalance valve, which hold the load in case of any hose or pipeline failure. 
This prevents the free fall of the load. And, and the hydraulic power units are provided with sound protection hoods to limit the noise levels less than 80 decibels. And also all the pressure hoses are provided with the flash protection. So this creates a complete safe solution from LNT. Next slide, please. In the tag curing press, there are 300 plus sensors and actuators. We can call it input and outputs. Conventionally, these sensors are wired to nearby junction box. From each of these junction boxes, uh, close to 500 plus wires are routed to the main panel. Uh, this increases the uh, spice of the main panel and also it generates a lot of heat uh, requiring air conditioning unit close to 1 to 1.5 kilowatt. And this also occupies a lot of space. And in this system, any diagnostic for the operator is very difficult. That too, when there are 500 wires, it is difficult to trace uh, which wire is faulty. So to overcome this, uh, we have come up, we have embraced distributed IO technology, wherein IP67 modules are distributed in the field. Here, though, from the wires from the sensor are con are connected to the uh, IP67 modules, and from these each of these modules, there are only one single communication uh, cable routed to the main panel. In overall, there are only six to seven IP67 modules, uh, which ensures that there are only six to seven total communication cables, which can be like Ethernet cable running in the machine. So for running these seven cables, it occupies only very little space. And also, the overall panel size has come down by 80%. And if you compare the number of wirings, 500 wires have come down to close to six to seven wires. So this has reduced the wiring by to the extent of 95%. And this has resulted in the reduction of insulation and commissioning time uh, to a great extent. And also, it is easy to diagnose and troubleshoot. The overall machine uptime has also increased because of this te technology. And we can improve the machine uptime right from the day the machine is installed. One of the other challenge the industry is facing is maintenance of cure, conventional cure valves, uh, which occupies a lot of space behind the press. Uh, to overcome this, uh, we have embraced manifold uh, design of cure package. This saves a lot of space and it is also it is easy to maintain. Uh, it is, we can just remove two bolts uh, to remove a manifold mounted valve. In case of a conventional valve, we have to remove at least eight bolts to uh, un uncover a, a conventional valve. So the maintenance is also very easy in a, in a cure manifold design. Uh, and also, it is very easy to provide box type insulation uh, for cure manifold to limit the heat losses. Uh, we can easily open the box and do many maintenance activity. Unlike in a conventional package, uh, it is also difficult to design insulation for the conventional package because it is spread over a, a significant area. Uh, normally, insulation bags are used for each and each, each and every valve. So if, if we have to remove an individual valve, so we have to remove the insulation first, and then only, then only we will be able to remove uh, the conventional cure valve. So this this also reduces the downtime of the machine to a great extent, and also it, it saves a lot of space uh, behind the machine, and it will be easy for the operator to do any maintenance activity, and also it reduces the energy energy to a great extent. Next slide, please. As I said earlier. Uh, there are at least 300 plus sensors and actuators in a tire curing press. Slowly and steadily, the tire curing industry is, 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 is embracing IAOT enabled uh, uh, sensors and actuators. By going for IAOT enabled sensors and actuators, we can collect a lot of data about health and condition of the sensor. Whereas in a conventional sensor, we will be able to know only the state of the sensor signal. Here we will be able to collect the a uh, lot of data about health and also the condition of the sensor. All these data can be shared to the cloud and can be used for data analytics, which helps to do predictive maintenance and reduce downtime and improve uh, the overall operational efficiency and reduce the total cost of ownership. Uh, we can help our customers to upgrade their old machinery uh, to a smart press by use of IAOT enabled sensors and actuators. Another challenge in the tire industry is commissioning time. If you look at a conventional machine, testing is done only after a complete assembly of machine is physically built. This kills a lot of time. 
and also it is unsafe for our engineers to simulate their logics in a physical machine to overcome this challenge uh, we have created a digital twin of our machine which is nothing but a clone of a physical machine where our engineers can use it for virtually testing their new logics and what if analysis and also to carry out virtual commissioning this way we can reduce the commissioning time to great to a great extent uh, the same model is used also for training the op engineers and operators at site next slide please more often than not safety norms both ansi and en en series are getting updated almost every year and in line with that the software and hardware for the old machinery needs to be upgraded and lnt offers support to our customers to upgrade their old machines not only safety norms upgradation of the machine but also we will be able to support with iot enabled sensors and actuators incorporation of smart features and alarms these help the tire industry to improve data capturing analytics and help improve their overall operational efficiency next slide please so the session will not be complete if we don't discuss discuss about adopt adaptation to covid lnt has been keen on digital upgrades even before uh, pre covid and hence the transition was very easy the major in, in person interaction with clients and our customers happened during machine checkout during uh, uh, final inspection uh, during startup and commissioning and during troubleshooting and, and service calls within the last 6 months uh, we remotely checked out machinery for four different uh, continents with seven different time zone all our service team can remotely assist our clients the major value that lnt offers is monthly webinars to train the production and maintenance personnel on basic troubleshooting techniques best operating practices etc despite all the challenges covid has given us we we are only getting close to our customers than ever before next slide please thank you for listening to us please feel free we'll be happy to answer your questions oh well, wonderful ganesh thank you so much for that wonderful presentation as a reminder to all our viewers out there Uh, Ganesh will now answer some questions. You can send your questions to RPN Events at Crane dot com, and if you're watching on LinkedIn, YouTube, and Facebook, like I know many of you are, please send your questions through those platforms. All right, Ganesh. Um, as you know, we have a global audience for iTech, and a large contingent of that audience is in North America. Um, does L and T have experience in international supplies? and if so can you please give specific examples to the americas lnt has supplied machinery to 40 plus countries and it has great deal of experience in supplying machinery to america in fact lnt's largest export curing press population is in the americas and our engineers have a long association uh, with clients both in north and, and latin america apart from understanding specific customer needs uh, we also focus on ensuring Uh, local government safety regulations, engineering st standards, certifications required for uh, platen and dome, and and we we ensure that certifications are met, and both LNT's manufacturing and supply chain is aligned to that. We also have a representative in Accra, Ohio, with a fully operational warehouse. Further, LNT also has a dedicated office in Southfield, Michigan, to support mm -hmm. clients in project management. Excellent. Southfield, not too far from where I am in uh, Ann Arbor, and uh, right in the Metro Detroit area. Well, so Ganesh, there's a question here uh, from uh, YouTube, uh, a YouTube viewer. Are the presses that you spoke of are they energy efficient in their operation? And you can, and uh, if so, can you explain how energy efficient they are compared with conventional presses? If you look at our LNT series of, of the hydraulic presses, comes with excellent energy efficiency. all over insulation are de designed with sufficient thickness uh, with with and with low thermal conductivity materials and also the materials uh, greatly resist the radiation uh, reduce the radiation losses not just conduction losses so all this put together uh, it has reduced the steam con consumption to a great extent and not not only that uh, we also offer a cure manifold package wherein 
the overall uh, sp space required behind the press has come down to a great extent. And with that, we also offer a box type insulation for cute package. So with all these solutions, uh, we offer a great energy saving solution for tire curing presses. And con compare ourselves with the conventional mechanical press, uh, it is the energy saving is uh, reduced to a great extent up to 50%. Wow. Okay. So that's yeah, significant savings there. Uh, thank you. Um, you spoke uh, about customer support. Uh, can you elaborate on LNT's uh, service support for the hydraulic presses? The average site experience of LNT service engineer is close to five years. All our engineers have hands-on experience in programming, troubleshooting, install supervision, and commissioning. Our engineers have traveled across the globe, almost to all countries where there is tire manufacturing. They also have a comprehensive grievance address system where service maintenance-based problems are recorded and continuously addressed in all our supplies. They, are, they also form an integral part in our training our customers. And can you go into a little bit more detail too about uh, the unique features and offerings that differentiate l &T from your market competitors? Uh, if we compare the market offerings for a flow mounted press, a standard press is kept on the floor where the deck height is close to 1.8 meters. It needs a platform uh, for for maintenance activity so that the operator has to climb at least two to three, three steps to access the core part of the machine for bladder change, uh, mold change, and other day-to-day -day activities. But this is not an ergonomic solution. So LNT's uh, floor mounted press, uh, we have ensured the deck height is uh, lesser to an extent of 1.2 meters from the floor. Uh, this is only made possible within our innovative design of uh, compact bladder control mechanism and which has reduced the mean, re, uh, mean time to repair to a great extent. And uh, we have conducted uh, time studies. Uh, uh, the, 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 uh, it has reduced the downtime by close to one hour. Further, LNT provides a complete turnkey solution, uh, which includes design, manufacture, and supply of platform safety access ladders, et cetera, uh, which as a package, which makes LNT a one-stop shop. Yeah, I wanted to ask you about the, the platforms and the ladders you offer. That's really uh, that integrated solution you spoke about. What's the advantage of a customer purchasing that entire integrated solution as opposed to, as you say today, many people buy the presses and then build out around it? What's the advantage for getting the whole solution all at once? Most of our customers, if you look at the, at the, at the, at the past supply, uh, most often they used to they used to design the platforms once the, once the machine is installed in in the pit. So after if you the platforms can only be designed in the available space. So this does not offer a this is only a compromise solution and it, it does it, more often it does not come out in an ergonomic way. So we in LNT uh, in the in the in the three D model stage itself uh, we design the platforms and ladders to to ensure that there is convenient space all around for the operators to conveniently and comfortably do the maintenance activity. And this is also uh, a big pain pain area for the customer because, because he has to do uh, the design and manufacturing of platforms after the machine is installed at site. This also increases the installation and commissioning time. So if it is designed by LNT, so the, it, it also reduces the installation and commissioning time to a great extent. And also uh, it, it offers an ergonomic and uh, wholesome solution package and, and a complete turnkey solution from LNT. Yeah, yeah you, you take all the headaches and you take care of it for the customer, it sounds like. Well, Ganesh, yeah. thank you so much um, for, your, for your presentation today. Do you have any final thoughts or parting words for our viewers? And I thank all those who have log, logged into this virtual session. And if you have any feedbacks or demonstration record, you can contact us at ganeshraja.com dot k at larsenandtobro.com and you can also uh, log into www.larsenandtobro.com wonderful well ganesh thanks again for sharing your insight as ganesh said if you want to reach out to him directly do so with the email address on your screen i know he'd be happy to speak with you my thanks to our expert ganesh raja karapusami at lnt rubber processing machinery my thanks to you for joining us today for itex ask the expert for more sessions like this, visit itechvirtual.crane.com. I'm Brennan Lafferty. Thanks for watching iTech's Ask the Expert, organized by Rubber and Plastics News.
Stay tuned for one final message from LT Rubber Processing Machinery. <laughs>